Alright guys, so we just came to Stall Bay, came to see Miss Trims. She's got the island's native food, crab and dumpling. Had to try it, everyone's allowed to try it. So I've got two portions, one for me and one for uh, Franklin. So we're gonna tuck in, we're gonna unbox and see what it looks like. Right, so right, so that's Franklin's one, this is mine. Right, are you guys ready? The moment of truth, boom. This is the famous Tobago crab and dumpling. It's very messy, so I'm going. To, I'm prepared. I'm going to get myself like a little bit messy, and then we're going to tuck into this. Definitely look. Let me see how it smells. Yeah, it smells nice. I think it's. Is it curry? Yeah. I think it's a yeah, curry crab, and then it's got dumpling. I just love the way the Tobagos do the dumpling. It's very thin, and it's got some cucumbers, some salad in there. Yeah, boom. Right, it's <laughs> love it. It's made with love. But there's more meat on this one, look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so guys, as you can see, I've killed this, killed the plate. Proper messy food. Down and dirty. Uh, I was gonna scoop up the last, the last gravy. He's one of the big claws. That's my own technique. So when you come to Tobago, this is definitely a must. You have to try some crab and dumpling. Really enjoyed it. Big up, Miss Trims. I'll see you guys on the next clip. So if you look behind me, one of the boats has come to pick us up. We're doing um, the reef tour, going to the nylon pool and there's some three other stops as well. Definitely looking forward to it. You can see the vibe is going to be up in it. See it. The only thing that I get seasick, so fingers crossed. Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. Like this, shake your body, don't stop, don't quit, just do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now, do it good. This just like you should, right now, get good. This just like you should, my neck, my back, my chest like that, my neck, my back. My chest like that, my neck, uh, my back, my chest like that, my neck, uh, my back, my chest like that, my neck, uh, my back, my chest like that. coming up to my stomach very very shallow the water's very very warm loving it but i've got to have a swim guys you need to come here man when you come to tobago you have to come to nylon pool it's definitely a must Oh, my God. 
Guys, so Franklin just picked me up. We're driving to Blackrock. Um, gonna see Chef Danielle Stewart from Frontline Flavors. She's gonna show us how she cooks the food. Definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, so yeah, I'm, I'm here with my brethren, Franklin. Franklin's definitely been looking after me. And then on the way, we met. What's your name? Opal. Opal. Your cousin Opal. Yeah, yeah, nice people, nice people. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we get there. Boom. Limit, okay. Oh, yeah, I think this place looks nicer. So big shouts to Chef Daniel Stewart, top uh, chef on the <laughs> island. Yes, yes, yes. Don't be too humble. I am not, I am not. So I am Daniel Stewart of Frontline Flavors. Yeah. Welcome to Frontline Flavors. Yeah. And we are here, we have Creole yeah. meals today, right? Creole so we have like dumplings, yeah. provisions, yeah. stewed meats, and one of our favorites, excuse me, John Pete's and pig tea. So is it, do you only do Creole on Thursdays? On Thursdays we do dumpling, we, our specialty yeah. based Creole food show. We, yeah. However, we do incorporate a little bit of the American style, yeah. different kind of cuisine. Okay. But we do mostly local food. Cool. What's Creole food? Is it like, is it indigenous? It's indigenous. It is because we yeah. would have started, our dishes really mm -hmm. started when our ancestors, those West Africans came yeah. to Tobago mm -hmm. and you know, they use what was accessible to them, right? Yeah. So they use a lot of stews. Mm -hmm. We have things like the dashing bush mm -hmm. because those are the stuff they planted. Yeah. And so they will have like stewed dashing bush, mm -hmm. you know, things like that, the flour. Yeah. Um, flour dumpling that they use at that time was like cassava flour. Yeah. You know, they created the cassava, mm -hmm. they made the dumplings, and they made their bread, things like that. Yeah. However, it has changed a bit because we, of course, incorporate what is not accessible and what mm -hmm. is worldwide, why mm -hmm. but we try to do as local and indigenous and authentic as possible yeah. so we kind of give that flavor still. Cool. What have we got on the menu today? So today we have we have saltfish, mm -hmm. saltfish for jaw, that's one of our dishes and mm -hmm. uh, we have pigeon peas with pig tail okay. yes we have stew pork, stew chicken, corn meal dumpling and salt and fish. So vegetables that oh, you will see, we don't eat the calories yesterday. Oh my yeah. gosh, I was looking forward to calories today. Yesterday. Oh, okay. yeah, well, um, so Guys, I miss calories, my favourite. Yeah. I had Kalu at um, that place, Creole Kitchen. Right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. They will have a wider variety yeah. of dishes. And I'm the one with the vlog, I saw you make yeah, it. Yeah, because we did the Kalu for half me. Yeah. Because oh, I missed that it. Was one of, that is one of the main dishes. And in today, they will say it's one of our national dishes. Yeah. Kalu. You know, but we didn't do it today, unfortunately. Okay. Right, cool. So you're going to show us around? I'm going to show yeah. you around. I'm going to show you the production area. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you. Okay. These are some of the stuff that is here. So this is the production area? This, yes. This so is this, is ch this, this is chicken? This is chicken. Yeah, that looks nice. Yeah. This is yeah. cooked. Yeah. We have sauce, mm -hmm. flavor with um, coconut, coconut milk. Ooh, that sounds nice. Yeah, and also... I love anything coconut. Yes. With Coconut. And the same for the pork. Oh, that's, that's too pork? Yeah. Okay. And this here, we're going to experiment with mm -hmm. the pork Yeah. Are they like really hot? Is they are not hot at all. They are just flavorful. Oh, just flavor. Whereas we have the hot peppers yeah. that are really spicy. Okay. These are just for flavor. So they kind of have very, very bold flavor. Yeah. Nice. So we have that. And then that thing that we'll grind, a lot of rock season that we'll mm -hmm. grind mm -hmm. prior to the cooking, and we will season our pot with that. Cool. Right, there's some other stuff that come yeah. up that I'll show you. Okay. Where the production is to be there. I didn't So, is this a takeaway place? This is only for takeaway. Just takeaway. Yeah, so, you can't dine in. No. Okay. Unfortunately, you don't have dine in. But you've got a nice establishment, which is really nice. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Uh, we have local juice. Okay. So, we so, have so what's, what's the flavor the that we have here currently? We have cherry, and this is local cherry. 
So I don't even know. You say cherry? Yes. Okay. So um, the foreign cherry will be yes. the red one. Mm -hmm. We have a, a little yellow one, it's very acidic. So it gives yeah, a like really to, nice. I like, I like to try because yes. I'm, I'm used to it. Because we are used to food punch and different flavors here. So yeah. this is the cherry okay. and this is a local juice. So you have yeah. juices local like the cherry juice, the tamarind, yeah. mango, things like that. And, 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 and uh, we will, so this one yeah. is the cherry. Okay. We have other flavors, we then have the cherry. If I need some more coming like this. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. right, so we've got provision. Yeah. Yeah. Pigeon peas and pi was it pigtail? Yeah. Stew pork. Oh, that looks so nice. Got stew chicken right here. Yeah. So we just sat outside Frontline Flavors. I know she said you can't dine in, but they've got a nice small area outside. You can actually eat here. You can sit over there. You can sit here. You can car watch, you can people watch while you eat. You know what I mean? Guys, check out my plate. Yeah, chef fixed me up, you know, with some stew chicken. She gave some of that pigeon peas, provision. Got some green, got some green banana. Sweet potato in there somewhere. Can't wait to tuck in. All right, guys, got some food here. This plate is serious. This plate is serious, so try some of that. Pigeon peas. Got a pop. Mm -hmm. The spices. Try some of that chicken. It falls off the bone, look. It's gonna fall off the bone, look. Some green banana, pigeon peas. Mm. I'll start the chicken. Chicken's on point now. I'm gonna try some of that dumpling. Can't forget about the dumpling, you know. Right. Cool more dumpling. This. Best dumpling I've had so far. So I'm going to work it down with this cherry, cherry juice. So they, they've got two kinds of cherries. You've got the, the original one that everyone used, the red one, and this is the lighter one. So this one is supposed to taste citrusy. Let's see what it tastes like. You can taste the citrus. It's not too overpowering and it's very sweet as well. Very refreshing. Mad, 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 mad. So those guys, they're from Trinidad. Yeah. Okay. 
mangrove, mangrove trees. So this is going to lead us to the seafront. Yeah, the seafront. Okay. Would normally fall from the mangrove tree. Yeah. And stick in the ground. Yeah. And the mangrove tree would grow. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's what you Basically, call it. the seed. <laughs> Natural germination. Yep. Is that a carrier? So will people will people go and swim in here? Sometimes. Is it is it deep? Uh, yeah. Hey guys, so I'm standing outside Tobago's airport. I'm just about to check out of Tobago. I'm so upset. I'm leaving Trinidad. I'm leaving Tobago. I had a blast. I want to say a massive shout out to all the new subscribers, all the local subscribers that welcomed me to their nice island. Had a really good time here. The food was amazing. I saw some pretty sights, but my time here was limited, so I didn't get to see everything. So guess what? Coming back next year. I'm going to be bringing you some more content from Trinidad and Tobago. So until then, I want to say big shouts, big respect, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bless.